Isra Dawood's job in media came to an abrupt end in 2023 as a war erupted between rival factions in Sudan. The journalist fled her home in Khartoum. We had to move uh, from our house to another region uh, because uh, we stayed like for 10 days, but after that we started hearing some news about women get kidnapped and get raped, and that was for us, it is uh, frightening. Arriving in Kenya last May, Dawood had to rebuild her life. Thanks to a media support program, she had a helping hand. An initiative between the German-based Media Incorporation and Transition, or MICT, and African partners helped enroll her in a hub for exiled media. She received a MICT fellowship that includes financial and legal help and safe working spaces for journalists affected by conflict in Sudan and East Africa. She also received training and connections to media outlets that can publish her work. I wrote three articles, of course, under the supervision of uh, uh, the, the project. So I always, uh, when I was sending the materials, sometimes they have small maybe comments that you should focus on this, you should write this. I, th I think this is um, a good learning process. So far, the hub has helped at least 80 journalists globally, 15 of them in Kenya. A panel reviews and selects applicants. The fellowship usually runs for about three to four months and the holistic support structure consists of seven concrete modules which are offered on an individual basis and include livelihood support, um, security considerations, mental and physical health support, integration and legalization offers. Partners in the program, like the International Press Association of East Africa, or IPA, help by setting up press credentials and finding publications willing to pay for articles. They also provide working spaces. This is basically a huge chunk of what we are trying to even continue more, and especially expanding to have this co-working space where people can come and even just brainstorm creative ways of doing things, you know, new ways. Conflict and repression are forcing hundreds of journalists to exile each year, say UNESCO. You also have uh, journalists who face uh, political repression, uh, legal harassment, uh, censorship, uh, risk of retaliation from criminal groups, uh, or simply lack of job uh, opportunities and weakening uh, media landscape. And in Sudan, UNESCO estimates over 8.5 million people have been displaced in the past year, including journalists like Dawood, who hope to return home soon. Until then, media hubs like this one offer support and some normalcy to those in exile. Victoria Amunga, VOA News, Nairobi.